Rich, how do you sum that one up? <sighs> look, yeah, look, we're in the final. Um, the quality of the game wasn't great, you know. I think both teams uh, in the first half was completing, you know, just uh, just below fifty percent, you know. So I think I think we, you know, recognised if we came out second half, just got a few sets together, knocked a few sets out. Um, we'd hopefully take control of the game and it didn't, it still became real scrappy uh, but we got a couple of opportunities and we took them and managed to get our noses in front, you know, the penalty kick relieved a little bit of pressure on um, going into the back end and then to get that score to, to push us, uh, you know, a good, a good you know, 14 points in, in front um, just helped, you know, to see us out, see out the game. So what was the message at half-time? Was it simply just go set by yeah, set? Yeah, a little bit. I don't think either team got into the game. You know, there was a lot of errors, you know, unforced ones, you know, play the balls. It just became so scrappy and, and we spoke about that and, and, yeah, it was just, you know, knock a few sets out, you know, put them under a little bit of pressure and, and, and go from there and hopefully we'll have a few opportunities, which, you know, we, we did get and, and took them. It seemed to work because I think about maybe 10 to 15 minutes into the second half, something switched and all of a sudden I think from that point we seemed to dominate. Yeah, look, we, we're going to have to be a lot better in the final. We, you know, if we throw in a performance like that, um, I don't know whether it was you know, the preparation, you know, being a later kickoff time that affected the lads. Because you know, I thought, again, we started really slow and we haven't done for the last four weeks and um, it's something we'll address and something we'll look at um, and hopefully get right for, 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 for the final. It's a good night for the fans, but for you and the players, focus switches immediately to that game in two weeks. Yeah, it? certainly we'll be, you know, this, all this week now prepping, prepping for whoever we get. You know, well, probably looking at ourselves, how we can get better as a group, uh, and then when we know who who we're going to face, start the preparations then on on them. Um, because it might be Hunslet that we then face again in the final. Do you think the win tonight in their backyard lays down a bit of a marker if that is the case? Uh, yeah, certainly. Um, I think we, they've always been tight games with these. You know, even that one there, it's gone down to the wire. It could have gone either way in the second half. And um, we were fortunate you know, to come on the uh, right side of the result. And just to finish on the away support tonight, I think it was fantastic. I was actually up in the fans and couldn't hear myself think it sometimes. What's that like? What does that do for the team? What does it do for you when it's a game where you think that could be the difference, that extra push that you need from the fans? Look, they were fantastic. It was very vocal tonight, which was you know great to hear, especially an away game. Um, it felt like we was uh, the, the home team, to be honest, uh, with how loud they were. They got behind the boys, you know, and, uh, you know in them tough times, hearing that and... Uh, you can see what it meant to like Connor and that when they finished the game and went fist pumping like towards them and you know they want to do it for them because you know it's been a, it's been a long time coming.